Hi everyone, today I am making some school bows. I thought I'd um, film it while I was making them just so you can have an idea of um, how to do it. It's quite simple. I've made these before. These are the pinwheel bows. Um, I'll go through one on this video but I will leave a little clickable i button in the top right corner um, on how to make these. I'm sure I've done a video before. Um, so what we're going to do is today I'm going to be making uh, bobbles, hair elastics and clips. You can also put these on hair bands but I don't have a green hair band at the moment so we're not going to do that one today. So let's get started on what we need. So I have some hair elastics in the matching green. Um, for this is a green school set. So I've got four of those today. I've also got some hair clips which will go into line um, and I'll have four of those as well. And these are just the single prong hair clips which I'll show you how to line them in the video. Uh, I've also got some 10mm gross grain ribbon and some 1 inch gross grain ribbon. Um, you need a lighter to seal the edges, some scissors, some thread. And I've also got these which are epoxy domes, if you can see that. They are separate 25mm diameter clear epoxy domes and I have the school logo that I'm doing ready to be popped on those domes. So let's get started. Okay, first of all what I do is get this ribbon. You can measure the length. Um, I don't really use measuring. I don't use tape measures to measure lengths really. I've been doing it for so long I just go by sight or by hand measurement. It's a lot easier, saves a lot of messing around. So what we do is we wrap it round our hand like that. So I've got the end there, I've wrapped it round twice and we're going to cut it there. And then we heat seal the end. See if that end needs to do it, I've already done that. So that is the length of ribbon that we need. So it's been wrapped round once and twice. And then we let it go. like that flat and what we're going to do is we're going to just make it all even make sure it's all straight and we're just going to fold that in half crease along the edge and then we're going to get a needle and thread tied in a knot at the end and we're going to sew along that crease we just made just in and out. Try and make your stitches the same size so it creases evenly. And pull the ribbon all the way through. And then what we're going to do is pull it so it does a concertina fold. Like that. And then we wrap the ribbon round. The thread, sorry, not the ribbon. And we pull that out so it's all right pull it tight and then we'll sew that off. I like to poke the needle through. And then tie it off at the top. Make sure it's tight. This ribbon is actually a really thick quality ribbon. It's a little harder to thread the needle through. And then we get the pinwheel. So we'll set that aside a minute, pop this away. Okay, so next I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two of each. So we've got two bobbles and two clips. So pop those to one side. I'll show you this in a minute as well. What we're gonna do is gonna line the clips. So we've got the 10mm gross grain ribbon in a matching colour. You could do a contrasting colour if, if your school uniform is green and white, you could do it in white. This school is just, well it's green, um, yeah just green, green and yellow I think, but they want just plain green. 
So again, I don't use a measure. What I'll do is these clips have got a bent, a straight prong and a bent prong. So I put the lined bit on the straight. Just put it in between, right in the edge like that. And we fold it along the bent bit. Just run it along, we haven't glued anything yet. We're gonna poke it in there, and hold it, and then bend it over. And then where this line starts, I like to cut just before the line there. So it's roughly there. That's how much I'm gonna need to line the clip. Make sure the ends have been heat sealed. And we're doing two, so I need two of those. So I'll just use this one to measure that one. Heat seal the ends. going to line. So what I do is I hold the clip open, the straight bits at the top, the bent bit at the bottom. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along the bottom of that bent prong on the inside and then we lay that in and make sure it goes all the way in and close it down. And then just make sure it's all straight. Doesn't matter if the glue leaks over the edge because we're going to be folding it over now. So now we put some glue all the way along there. Not too much that it's going to come out of the edges. And then we stick it down. I'm going to put some glue inside the ends there but only on the metal bit not on the spring. So just a little dot in there. And then we fold that in, and push it against it, and then we're just going to put some glue on this end bit. Like that. So we'll give that a minute to dry and we'll do the other one. Okay. So we've got two lined clips there. So lined at the top, you see this bit here, if you've got a bit any glue that's stuck together you can just peel that off. And then we've got the two bubbles. So we get four of these, we'll do two to start with actually, so we can stick the bubbles on those. So this is the top. I'm going to turn them over and we're going to glue the bubbles or hair elastics into the middle. So we just put a little dab of glue in the middle. Now these don't have the metal bits, they're non-snag free so I find the bit where it's joined and I stick that onto the glue and just hold it there for a few seconds until that's set and then it's glued on. those ones ready. Now what we need to do is with these ones I'm going to put another layer of ribbon on the top of it. So we get our roll of ribbon again and we need to, again I don't measure, I just go by sight, lay it on top, close to the edge but not right at the edge and then fold that in half. And then we need two of those, so we fold that, that's the length we need. We need two of those for each one, which means I need eight pieces. Okay, so we have our eight pieces. And then where each of these folds are, I'm just going to cut them and same on this end. So 
we've got our eight pieces I'm just going to heat seal the ends of them We now need to glue these. So what we do is we get one of them, fold it in half, and put some glue along that fold. And we fold the ends into it. We're going to be making sort of mini tux bows. A little bit of dab of glue in the middle there and then fold it in half and then a dab of glue on this side and fold it down and a dab of glue on this side Hold it in place until it's set and get rid of any excess glue. And we need two of these per bow. So I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of them and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so I've finished making all these little tux bows. So what we need to do now is glue two together. So we just pop a little bit of glue there and push that one against it. Make sure they're even. It just makes a double tux like that. So we're gonna just dab a glue in the middle. Hold it until it sticks. And then that's done. So we're going to end up with four of these. Two for the hair elastics and two for the clips. Last one. we get this and we just put some glue in the middle there don't need a lot because it's all going to be secured with some ribbon around the middle anyway and we just lay that on top now as I say you can do contrasting colors for schools so if your colors are red and white I would do a white bottom and a red top um, because obviously that's the bit that's seen the most um, on top you could also do um, navy and white um, plain navy, whatever colour combination your school is, I would put the main colour of the uniform on top. So they are for the clips and these are for the hair elastics. Or as my customers like to call them, bobbles and bows. Although they're all bows, I get people saying bows meaning a clip. So I always ask, is it bobbles or clips? So we've got two without anything on the back for clips and two with bobbles attached for bobbles. So we'll do the clips first. Um, we're gonna get the 10 mil ribbon. Just undo some there, heat seal the end. And what we're going to do is a little dab of glue on the back. Again, I don't measure these. I do it all from the roll. Just stick that on there. 
and then we wrap it round. Again, if you've got red on the top, you can do white in the middle. Whichever combination you think is the best for you. And then we put it sort of there. Heat seal that edge. And then we're going to put some glue along there. Not too much so it seeps out. And then wrap that round and stick in place. It doesn't matter if there's any excess glue on there because you're going to put the clip on. So we have that. Now we're going to get the clip. We're going to put some glue on there. And then we're going to stick that on the back. Like that. Any excess glue, just get off while it's hot doesn't leave a white mark. So hold that in place, make sure it's stuck down and there you go. Now if you're going to use teeth clips what you do is you stick the teeth clip on first then wrap the ribbon around it like I've made on my baby bows previously. So that's one, let's do the other one and there's your clips. Now you can use them as they are like that or you can do this. So I've got two logos and they are 25mm in diameter and then I've got these which are clear epoxy domes. It's made of a resin and it's clear and it's 25mm and what we do is we get the logo and use your fingers as a guide and stick that to the bottom. It's a sticker, so you stick it to the bottom of the dome and then it makes these logos which you have usually on bottle caps. Now bottle caps, when you stick them to here, unless you use a really good super glue, um, they come off quite easily. Kids pick at them at school so I don't tend to use them. So we're just going to make a couple of these for these bows, make sure it's stuck on. They're pretty good, you don't usually get hair, uh, air bubbles in them, but you could get fluff in there, so just make sure you do it quite quickly. And then what I do is I see which side the clip is on. So my clip opens this side. We're just going to put some glue in the middle there, just across there get our dome with the logo and stick it in the middle there. Now what you can do is put some rhinestones on the edges if you like. This school doesn't like rhinestones so we're going to just leave them plain with the logo. I do have permission from the school to use this logo. I would try and ask permission where you can to use logos. Um, you could also put the child's name on the middle. You can make them yourself, um, print them out on photo paper, or you can find someone who makes them for you. They need to be in a 25mm uh, wide circle. Okay, so the bobbles. We've already got the bobbles stuck on there. What we need to do is put some glue in the middle. Hold that in place until it's dry. Get rid of any excess glue. Okay. And we wrap that round just like you do with the other ones, except the bobble's already on it. Cut it long enough to go over the bobble, heat seal the end, and glue it down. Again, not too much glue, but enough to stick it. So 
it and make sure all the things are sticking up. And then we're gonna put the other one on. And there we go. So we need two logos for these. So we get our school logos. So we just put some glue in the middle there. sure it's straight and that's it so we have two bubbles and two clips with school logos ready for the little school girls if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I've got lots of different videos coming up and if there's anything in particular that you're struggling on that you'd like me to make a, a tutorial for, just pop it in the comments and I'll answer back to you. So give this a, a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. <laughs>